Good evening from the Kingdom of Balance. This is Princess of Balance here with the day 121 of going through the bundle for racial justice and equality. I do this stream every Monday and Friday um, and to look over three of the games from the bundle for racial justice and equality that was hosted on itch.io in June of 2020. Today's games are game number 361, Watch Me Jump by Jeremy Gable, game number 362, Side Words by Milkbag Games, and game number 363, The Whisperer in Darkness by Nat Quayle Nelson. Um, yes, so we will be starting with Watch Me Jump by Jeremy Gable. Some sort of a basketball game. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. What was the music? Music good I think we are going into stream mode oh by the way thank you for the follow um Hafix welcome to the balance alliance let's see we're going to be starting with 361 360 game number 361 is watch me jump by Jeremy Gable you can get it at jeremygable.itch.io Here's the link in the chat Let's start bringing it up Okay Watch me jump a game in four quarters Sorry, I had to adjust my chair. A different kind of basketball game. Watch Me Jump is a digital story of scandal and betrayal, played out in four quarters. As WNBA All-Star Aura B. Mills, the player will navigate through the story, shaping Audra's uh, personality along the way through choices made. A unique story. Watch Me Jump is the first video game from award-winning playwright Jeremy Gable and is adapted from his play of the same name. Oh, nice. The player takes the role of Audra B. Mills, who is about to become the highest paid woman basketball player in the world. But on the night before playoffs, a scandal threatens to overturn everything she has worked for. And Audra has to figure out how to get through the night without lo losing either her dignity or her career. Huh. A lot at stake. An original experience. As the player moves through the game, various choices will influence Audra's experience and personality. And with the decisions made, the player will help Audra determine what it truly means to be the best. A lovingly crafted retro style, featuring completely original artwork and music, Watch Me Jump is a throwback to the games of the 8-bit era, combining the look and feel of old-school RPGs and text-based adventures with a unique and original 21st century story, and simple, easy-to-use controls help move the player through the many twists of the intense and humorous journey. Speaking of control, I need to grab my controller. That's good. Got it. I said already the game can be found at uh, jeremygable.h.io, which I pasted in the chat. There, the game is only two ninety nine US dollars at the moment. Is this an installed? Oh yeah, it's installed. So I need to run it from here on the menu. Oh no. What name did I put? Oh, there it is. Watch me jump. Go to sensitive seizure warning. Good to know. I don't know why it's not working.
For some reason, one of my keyboard is not responding. Guess I'll have to check that later. I'm going to use my old keyboard. Huh. Enter or E to interact with the person, sign, or an object. end of the dialogue press enter or e to continue when presented with the decision use the arrow keys or the uh, ws keys to navigate dialogue choices press enter or e to make a choice mm -hmm. after every conversation is gonna save Escape is pause. Let's start the game. Pre-game. Indianapolis. April 11.56 p.m. Which day is it? No idea. Some Sometime in April. This came down. Why would I go back up? <laughs> the uh, ending dialogue icon is uh, the prompt is a basketball. It's cute. Welcome to the Repose Hotel, Indiana's premier economy stay. Front desk left, elevators up, bar right, and fitness center down. Don't know where am I supposed to go. That's the front desk. Nice to see you again, Miss Mills. Most everything in the hotel is closed for the night, but the bar is still open. Not to imply that you're a... Uh, I wasn't... I just thought you'd like to know. Too dark outside, I don't know. And I don't know this town. This sucks. Could really use a walk to shake off this... whatever this is. Huh. Is nervous about something? The fitness center is closed for the evening and will reopen tomorrow morning. Hey Shelly. Damn, it's a 24-hour gym directly connected to my hotel. Too much to ask. <laughs> so this game is called Watch Me Jump. And it's about a um, play uh, by Jeremy Gable. And it's a game based on a play uh about a basketball player who's about to become the rich um, the top paid basketball player uh top paid female basketball player in the world but like something goes wrong with um scandals and stuff like that and she has to make decisions throughout the story that will like change the outcomes or something Hmm, there's only one person here outside of the bartender. Hmm. Going to start a conversation. There's not a lot more to explore. I mean, I could sit here if I wanted to drink alone. So she doesn't want to drink alone. Oh, yeah. Is that good? My beer? It's fine. I preferred their IPA, but it's but it kicked. Do we know each other? I don't think so. We haven't met. Yes or no? Maybe, probably. I don't know. You just seem are you famous or something? Be direct. 
I play for the WNBA. Hold up. You're Audra B. Mills from the Minnesota Lynx. You're really good. Be honest. Not today I wasn't. I mean, yeah, you lost. But the fever's defense is intense. Insane. There are monsters, Amazonian freaks, all of them. So, how long are you here for? Uh, forever. I live here. Well, not like the hotel. That would be weird. True. So you're an indie girl? You're... You're happy we lost then? Well, not anymore. But before you met me? Yeah, ecstatic. So what brings you here? I work at the airport. Sometimes I can come here after, afterward. It's quiet. What do you do? Oh, it's a super important job. I'm a hostess at Trophies. And uh, that's how I watched you play. I didn't know that Trophies showed ESPN3. Oh, we show all the ESPNs. You can never have too many ESPNs. I'm just remembering there are several of them. It's been a long time since I've even heard the term ESPN, but I'm remembering now. How am I doing? I'm I'm good, Shelly. Um, I think I'm. Uh, I think I had a decent day. It was a little stressful at work, but um, I think it got all resolved in the end. Um, I had to work a bit longer than I wanted to, but um. I think it was uh, still a good day. You know, there was a guy at lunch who was talking about you. He said this is your year that you're the best in the league. He said, um, he said you're really strong. Be direct or flirt? Flirt? Yeah, you want to feel for yourself. Oh my god. <laughs> That is very, very, very flirty, yes. Oh, I, uh, you're almost out of beer. That's true. Want to buy me another? No, it's not an ending. It's just the beginning. First quarter. Six months later? Wow. This is not an attack. We're not attacking you. That's something I want to make clear. This is not an attack against you. Definitely not. We just need to clarify that, uh... Well, people are going to come to us with lots of questions. Questions that are going to be difficult to answer and different kinds of questions. Sure. So we need to know what to say. Well, no, we, um... Zach and I can answer the questions. You don't have to tell us what to say. But as your head coach, I need to make absolutely sure that we're on the same page here. Unity. Okay, the important thing is that this is fixable. It's not the end of your career. You're still a member of the Lynx. Sophie and I talked to the team owner as well as the league president. They agree with us. Okay. I didn't want her to know that. That thing where you're talking, could you just, you know, <laughs> not? Yes, we talked to Daniel and uh, Gary, and yes, they agree. And I talked to your agent. Tanya deals with this all the time. You're still a vital part of the WNBA. This thing, it changes nothing. It's not drugs. It's not crime. You didn't hurt anyone. It was just a girl at a bar. Nothing more. Certainly no one here cares whether or not you're gay. That's what this... Okay. I didn't expect that to be the topic. When I read that, though, there's a scandal. I'm like, okay, well, whatever. Um, 
what kind of scandal could it be like something really terrible this is the scandal like being gay like <laughs> okay whatever i wonder if this is based on a real story like if it's based on a true story like something that happened in real life Speak up or stay silent. Speak up. I'm not gay. Right, uh, we can use that. We can say they went up to a room, but that doesn't mean they had sex. Oh, we had sex, but you don't have to worry about whether or not I'm gay. <laughs> Because I'm not. Okay. Well, the bartender said you went upstairs with the woman, so I did. Okay. So then what would you say happens when two women get together and I'm bi? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so if someone says I'm gay, you can tell them. Uh, you can let them know the truth. Then we'd be on the same page. Wow, that that was a good statement. <laughs> We're on your side, Audra. 100%. And we understand how absurd this whole thing is. Ridiculous, all of it. So we'll fight for you. Make sure it all blows over. But we need to know what happened. You met her at a hotel bar? Uh, I don't know. Maybe sticking to being direct is gonna be a way. Let's let's try that. Yeah, the same bar downstairs actually. Stick to the story. Yeah. Here's what happened. It was six months ago. It was post game. I was trying to figure out why we lost, and I couldn't sleep, so I went down to get a drink. She was there, we started talking. Two drinks later, we go up to my room. She's gone by the morning, haven't seen her since. And that's it? Apart from all the heroin, yeah. Seriously, Sophie, just a few drinks. That's it. Okay, we can work with that. And the league president is on our side, so it's a non-issue. What's going to happen is you'll have to give a press conference, answer one or two questions about it, and just remain civil. Yeah, yeah, sure, what? I can do that. I know you don't want to, I appreciate that you will. I have some calls to make. Get some sleep. Make sure she sleeps. We're going to get through this. Such a big drama over something ridiculous. That is certainly a painting of a duck. <laughs> but you know, if you look at it at the right angle, it makes you think about how ugly of a painting it is. I don't really need to do any work right now. I mean, I do, but not with my assistant coach literally looking over my shoulder. I'm not going to bed with Zack in here. I mean, I like the guy and all, but not enough to let him watch me sleep. middle of the night there's nothing good on unless you look like late night talk shows which i don't don't be mad what am i supposed to be not mad it was one drink that turned into three drinks you know your math. 
You're supposed to call me if you feel the urge to drink. You call me. This is bad, Audra. Well, maybe the drinking part has some issues. Maybe? Yeah, I know, but still... This happens the day before playoffs. That guy was sitting uh, on on this. This happens the day before playoffs. That guy was sitting on this. Oh yeah, they waited for the story. To, they waited for a while, uh, for six months to reveal the story. Well, nothing's going to happen. So who's laughing now? I'm not laughing. Neither are you. Well. I'm sure someone's laughing. Really though, why me? Because you're the best. We need you to win. And people know that. This sucks. It sucks hard. You need anything? Everything's closed, but like from the shop downstairs? Yeah, they have whiskey, right? But seriously, I could actually use some caffeine. I'm getting a headache. Should sleep it off. I'm going to work on my Russian. Seriously? Can you at least make it through the playoffs before thinking about your trip? It's not a trip, it's my job. And it pays me more than this one does. I didn't know you had such a luxurious lifestyle. Sophie finds you up here with learning... You're learning Russian, she's gonna have your ass. That's why you won't tell. Seriously, why Russia? Why not France, like Erica? Be honest? Because I like to win. Erica's playing in France because that's the best she can do. I hear Bor Borges is lovely. And I'm sure living somewhere so nice softens the blow of losing all the time. I play in Yar Yakarteringberg for the same reason I play in Minneapolis. I like to win. How much are you paying? Are they paying you? How many rubles? Let's go with the honesty again. Six times my salary. Six? Jesus, why are you still playing for us? Are you serious? You're leaving? Maybe. I don't know yet. You cannot tell, Sophie. Why would you leave? Because I'm playing for one team in the summer and another team in the winter. It's exhausting. If I leave the WNBA and stay year round in Russia, they bump that 6 up to a 10. I'll become the highest paid women's basketball player in the world. And right now, be brief, there's no way the WNBA can match that. When were you gonna tell me? You're the assistant coach, you're like 7th in line of people I need to tell. I see. Right now the only people who know are you me and my agent. I like to keep it that way. I'm going to get you some aspirin. And a soda? How you stay healthy with the shit you put in your body? How's the sound? Is it a little quiet? I feel it's a little quiet at the moment. Retro Rico, hi, how are you? Uh, yeah, this is a different game. This is uh, called Watch Me Jump. Um, I do three indie games every Friday um, from the Bundle for Racial Justice and Equality. So Monday I do three games and uh, Friday I do three different games. So I do six indie games a week from that same bundle there's about 1200 games in that bundle so i'm slowly making my way through all of them this one is called watch me jump and it's by jeremy gable yeah here's the link if you want to check out the game you can get it at jeremygable.h.io this one's about uh
a basketball player who's about to become the highest paid uh, female basketball player in the world and she got um, just before her playoffs they some reporter released a scandal um, and now they're having to deal with that and it's about making choices that could lead to different endings possibly yeah okay let's go into go the scandals on something really ridiculous too it's because she slept with a woman that's it <laughs> Because I should have passed to Becca on that last play and instead I tried for the three. I'm the reason we lost. I didn't want to look at you looking at me after that. Next time, call me. Becca didn't have a line in the to the basket. I could have told you that. Anyway, keep your head up. Stay on your toes. I always do. Okay. We're doing sleep now. Are ready for your Russian lesson? And uh, maybe not yet. To wound up to sleep. Besides, I should really work on my Russian before going to bed. Okay. Russian made easy. <laughs> okay. Do you know where I can find a good pizza restaurant? I didn't actually read. Oh, wow. I actually got everything right. I didn't even... I don't even know Russian, so... <laughs> okay. See, so you'd keep her sober. And I've done a good job. We have a drunken scandal on our hands. I didn't say a perfect job. We're hanging on a... By a thread, Zach. You need to be watching her. I can't watch everyone all the time, Sophie. I'm not saying to watch everyone. I'm saying it's a problem if you can't keep track of our star forward. Well, she might not be your star forward much longer, so... What? I, uh... No way. You can't pretend I didn't say that, can you? <laughs> they just don't know how to keep their mouth shut. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Four years earlier? Like, why are we jumping around so much? Hi, Far Don't Talk. So, are you excited for graduation? To be honest, I'm excited to get out. Uh, aim for the backboard, aim for the rim, I don't know. Oh, wow, it worked. You don't like uh, Gonzaga? Be honest. It's a good school, and it's in Spokane, the cultural capital of the world. Not a lot to do here. You see how white this place is? It's the kind of town that didn't know the head of their NAACP branch was just really tan. <laughs> they see a six foot tall black woman. I'm like a circus attraction. What are you studying? Psychology. Why is that? I, I like getting into people's heads. Uh... Do they have a good program here? Good enough to not get in the way of playing ball. You know, there's more to life than basketball. Yeah, they keep telling me that. So I imagine you thought about where you're going after this. You serious? Why wouldn't I be? You saw what happened yesterday, right? Yeah, you hit that girl. 
Uh, admit fault or stand your ground? Admit fault. I know. It was dumb of me. What's the damage? Two game suspension. I think it was think it was worth it. Uh obviously not. Of course not. Anything that keeps me off the court isn't worth it. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't feel good. Well I can't say can't say I don't understand. Um let's see. Thank you for doing that shout out. Uh, jerks, thanks, Shelsman. How are you gonna lurk while we play a board game? Oh, awesome. What are you playing? What are you playing today? I'm gonna give you a. I'm gonna give a shout out to Shell Smiley as well. Shelly, are you gonna stream today? You were saying something about streaming, but I didn't see anything. And oh, and uh, shout out to Retro Rico as well. Since he's here. There we go. Did I get the name? Oh, I got the name wrong. Sorry. Uh, Red Bro Rico. There we go. There you go. That's better. Oh, okay. Cool. That's good. Alright, so while I can't say I don't understand... Yeah? You let your team do shit like that in Minnesota? <laughs> we don't have to do shit like that in Minnesota. We're disciplined. You are. So is Phoenix. Sure. And Indiana and Chicago. Which is where you played. You've done your research. If by research you mean Google, then yeah. <laughs> you could say I've done my research. Uh... Focus on your balance. Oh. Oh, come on. So then you must have asked yourself, what I, what could I get in Minnesota? And in your Googling, you probably realized that Chicago was Janelle Ruin. And Phoenix was Cindy Holland. And Indiana has Kirsten Olsen. And we did have Carmi Eber Eberly before she went to New York. Those four women ha all have one thing in common. They're all stars. They've got legacy. So yeah, you could go to Chicago or Phoenix or Indiana or New York, and you could compete for court time with Ruin or Holland or Olsen or Eberly, or you could join the Lynx and you could be the one to set the bar. Only thing is, I meant what I said. We're, we're a disciplined team. You play for us, you're going to have to be a role model. You do that, it won't be long before we're winning championships. Think about it. There's that uh, month and the time, but they never say the date. It's kind of weird. The library opens at dawn tomorrow. There's a trap, biblioteca. You're leaving? Sophie? You're leaving the team? How did you find out? <laughs> that guy couldn't keep his mouth shut. That's what happened. Uh, Spokane is the city said earlier? I think so. Yeah. Hi. Of course. Look, I understand. I really do. Half of my girls are playing for other teams in the winter. Lord knows how close those countries can do. Can do it. How those countries can do it because they're not paying their men millions of I get it but this shouldn't be about money or even about winning it should be about loyalty what we have is more than money 
could take a literal dump on the court tomorrow and I'd still say let's do it again all again next year. Four years ago when we first talked I knew this was our future. The two of us together going to the playoffs. I said to myself I want her on my team. I want her in my life. So okay France and China and Russia and whatever else can pay you more. I get it. But this is about loyalty, not just to the other girls who have your back, but to the person who saw you hit that girl. And when everyone else was saying she's a problem, I looked at you and said, no, that's my girl. That's our new forward. She's not a problem. She's a goddamn solution. I'm more than your coach, Audra. I'm your friend. Russia wants to pay you off. I want to make you the best. Thanks for the shout out. Spokane, pronounced Spokane. Oh, Spokane. Okay. It's uh, south of the border of BC. It's in Washington State. Thanks for looking that up, Shelly. I like learning new things, and I especially like it when it comes up in something rather than sitting down and reading about it from scratch. Hey, Jasmine T. How are you doing? Sorry, I've been MIA. Uh, that's fine. You're. I hope you're doing okay. I hope it's nothing bad that's keeping you away. Um, okay, just busy. Yeah, I figured with the new job, it's gonna be like that. You probably have way more responsibility or something. Uh, I already knew that because when I was a kid, we were supposed to go there for field trip. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's good. Thanks for doing the shout out, Shelly. I was just about to do that too. Um, we are we are well. Um, we had our third session with the fall part two on Wednesday, and uh, we finished the first arc of the. Um, uh, the third character and uh, it ended in a big climax a big reveal and everything which was super cool uh, but I stopped right then because I wanted to do the last whole arc in one go and it was so long that we wouldn't have been able to do it in the last session so I'm looking forward to that and um, I have my birthday coming up in a week about a week yeah it's the second um so I'm, I'm excited about maybe doing some special streams for that um yeah so fun stuff coming up i almost i also have a vacation coming up soon after that so i'd like to i haven't i don't have any plans yet but i'm looking forward to the break anyway uh yeah we we do love and miss you I agree with Shelly. Yeah. Yeah, birthday stream. Last year I did um I did a special stream for my birthday. I think it was um it was a point and click game. What was the name? It's a cyberpunk game. I forgot the name. Um Neo Feud. Yeah. Neo Feud is the one I did last year. Not sure what I'm doing this year yet. Uh but I have a week to come up with the ideas. <laughs> yeah. So, this game is pretty cool. It's about a basketball player and there's choices and consequences. I've been kind of being honest every single time. I don't know what's gonna happen. It's not, honesty is not always the best option. I know the chance you took on me and I'm really grateful, I am. But, soften the blow. We're talking loyalty, we're talking about what it means to be the best. My grandma's 68 years old and I've still never seen anyone hit a third point three-pointer with her accuracy. And she wasn't allowed to play anywhere outside of her high school. So when they announced the WNBA, she installed a hoop above our garage and brought me, bought me my first basketball. And she said, don't stop until you can prove you're the best. But how can I prove that I'm the best when I'm making less than a dentist? 
and like an average dentist, like my dentist makes more than I do. I tell my niece that Michael Jordan holds the record for career playoff points. I might as well be speaking Latin. But I tell her that he made $33 million in one season. That's a symbol everyone understands. So no, I'm not loyal to the WNBA, not, I'm not loyal to the Lynx, and sorry, but I'm not loyal to you. I'm loyal to my grandma and I'm loyal to me. So there's really nothing I can do to make you stay? Okay, I'm gonna be nice at this point. No? Gary's been trying to get a hold of you. Why? You need to talk to him. Now. Is everything okay? Talk to him. Uh, it's not. Okay. Seriously, all this over like... Okay, maybe not all this, but like there's just... The scandal was absolutely ridiculous. She just slept with the woman. That's it. Like, what's the big deal? Um... Anyway. <laughs> yeah, tough conversation. Uh, yeah, this game is interesting. I've kind of lost track of... T oh my god, I've been playing for almost 45 minutes already? It doesn't feel like it. I don't really have anything to say to you right now. Yeah, okay. S study more Russian. Oh, there's phone. Okay. Hello? Audra, it's Tanya. Everything okay? No, Audra, everything is not okay. Would your agent be calling you in the middle of the night if everything was okay? What's going on? Apparently someone found a video of you. What? Okay. In an elevator. Shit. <laughs> Yeah, now, as your agent, I have to advise that you... Can you hold on a second? Look. Ah. Why didn't you tell us? Tell you what? Cut the shit, Audra. Why didn't you tell us what happened in the elevator? The moment, the exact moment that we found out about the girl, why didn't you tell us about what you did with her? I didn't know where there were security cameras. Well, there are. There's cameras in the elevators and in, and that footage is on the internet. I don't know why. It's not that big of a deal. You assaulted her. Oh my god. Okay, that is bad. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, that... What? No, she pushed me first. You really think that's what's important right now? Hooking up with a stranger is one thing, but when you slam her against a wall... Tell me what happened. It was just a misunderstanding. We were... I got it. The video. I got it up. Show me. You don't need to... Show me. Good thing we don't have to watch. You broke her hand? Oh my god. Really? That's freaking messed up. Okay, that... This just... This just went in a different direction than I expected. God damn it. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm taking a moment to process. I'm reading the chat, but I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> it's not the direction I was expecting it to go. Definitely not the direction. 
Oh god, this always takes me by surprise. See, like, when stuff like this was happening in, uh, in the fall, I was, like, giving people a ton of, uh, trigger warnings and stuff like that, but, like, <laughs> when I don't know what's coming, that's, uh, it's just hard, harder to, um, harder to put that in. Um. Okay. Yeah, okay. No, okay, so apparently there's more to the story than they reveal. Ooh, okay, um, yeah, so whose room are we in? We are in, uh, we're in the main character's room, Audra's bedroom, basically, like her hotel room. Um... Yeah, she didn't just make out, apparently. Okay, so... In the prologue, we saw that scene where she was, um... Couldn't sleep, so she went to the bar of the hotel, and there was a woman there, and she started flirting with her. And they started... After a few drinks, they went up to the... Uh, they went up to the elevator to her room, and apparent like we didn't see any of that part we just assumed that they were that that they went there and then six months later there's a scandal and the scandal keeps like unveiling new new aspects and at first it was like oh you're gay i'm like and she was like you know no i'm bisexual <laughs> and so it's just like i'm just thinking what's the big deal why is this such a huge deal for the star player like what's i mean i get it i get why but it's like they made it seem like a bigger deal than it was and and then like now this comes up this is like messed up this is really messed up okay no there's no defending this yeah not one of my prouder moments what happened nothing we got in a fight you got in a fight how did all this happen in one night? Like, it's it's a complete stranger. How did... Okay. There must be more to the story. Like, maybe you know... You, I don't... I, ah. Okay. <laughs> I'm wondering if this is being taken out of context like they were in the heat of a moment and she didn't actually break her hand or anything. And we're hardcore making... I... It sounds like there was a tack on the elevator and probably in the room too. That's more than a fight. Actually, that's exactly what a fight is. Did you have to do that to her? I don't even know the context. What am I saying here? Obviously not, but it happened, and you can't tell me that you wouldn't have done the same thing. Yes, I can. I wouldn't have done the same thing. I wouldn't have done something to her that she could take to the press. She's not the one leaking this. I promise you, she's not. How do you know? You still talk to her? I do not talk to her, but I know she's keeping quiet. How are you paying her off? That wasn't supposed to be serious. That's serious? You're actually paying her off? How much? Tell the truth. A lot. I see. My phone's blowing up. Sophie, I can't just... We'll talk in the morning. Get some sleep. Oh yeah, the agent's on the phone. You heard all that? I did. So, what do we do? It's freaking messed up. 
Uh, <laughs> okay, I feel like my heart rate is has gone up somehow. Um. <laughs> Oof, feeling a little lightheaded. Okay, I gotta probably chill a bit. Um. I did not expect that to get this intense. This is, um... <laughs> yeah, I, I knew nothing about the play this is based on, so if I knew, I probably would have seen some of this coming. That I was, like, not prepared for that. I <laughs> okay. Yeah, um... I'm gonna probably stop after the conversation ends. Okay, I'm your agent, I should be here. Really, I couldn't get here fast enough. The moment you called me, I got dressed. Told Brian I had to go to Indianapolis. I didn't say why, that's how fast I was out the door. Got on the first plane, didn't care if they had business class, but they did, so that was nice. Got here, checked in, haven't even looked at my room yet. I couldn't care less. How are you? Been better. Have you slept? Be honest. I tried. Okay, well, we're gonna get you through this. Really didn't have to come out here. I'm much better in person. No matter what phone I get, the sound's quality is always terrible. Which might actually be my hearing, but anyway. <laughs> I like looking at faces. I like your face, your beautiful face. Who would want to sabotage this beautiful face? Really didn't tell your boyfriend that you were flying to Indianapolis? It's fine, I mean, he's pretty... Oh my word, he's pretty. But it's been eight months and we're just... I don't know. I like sludge, we're not going anywhere, we're just plooped. Which is a word I just made up, so yeah, I was glad to come. Not glad, that's the wrong word. But, yeah. Fucking Indiana, am I right? Uh... Sure? Fucking Indiana. Seriously, you guys can't play Connecticut? I'm kidding, of course. They don't have the height to get into the finals. Which is ironic, considering their name is The Sun. Anyway, I didn't sleep either. I spent the flight thinking about this, and I want you to know I can work with this. Seriously? As long as you can answer this one question for me. Do you want to win the playoffs? Sure. More than ever. At a girl, so here's the thing. We're gonna we're going to have to make a compromise. This goes one of two directions, and neither one is great. But they're what we've got. What do you need me to do? Just trust me. Uh Okay, absolutely. So what are we doing? This is like half an hour later. I'm sorry, what? That's our offer. There's an offer being made? I didn't know this was the kind of situation that required an offer being made. Well, it is. There's a way this situation can benefit all of us. Benefit? That's not what I necessarily... So this is what we're talking about now? Speak up. Hell yeah it is. Audra, please, I can... This is where we have to talk about it before any decisions are made. So she is going to stay? Audra B. Mills will stay with the Lynx and turn down Russia's year-round offer, playing their off-season only. 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 If she's not punished by the WNBA for what happened to the girl. Well, I can't control that. You can get the ball rolling. I just realized that was a pun. I didn't mean to make that. That's Danielle's call as league president. She's the one to... I know. And she's only going to listen to the team owner, so we need Gary to propose. I know. So we need to get him on the phone. No, he doesn't trust me. He won't listen to me. He needs to hear it from you. 
you need to hear that hear that if they suspend Audra, not only do you lose the playoffs, which as you're aware would be the fourth year in a row tying the leaked record, but then Audra goes to Russia and the Minnesota Lynx drops to the bottom of the Western Conference standings. And everything you worked for will mean absolutely dung when you're fighting for the fifth place with the San Antonio Stars. And most importantly, everyone finds out that the WNBA's favorite player had to go to another country, another continent, just to be treated fairly. And any viewership you gain in the past four years goes right out the window. She would make a really good lawyer <laughs> if you like figure out all this stuff. I don't think the league can afford that. But if this whole thing goes away, it's good for you. It's good for Audra. It's good for the Lynx and it's good for the WNBA. But if she gets cut from the finals, she becomes the highest paid women's basketball player in the world while the rest of you fight for relevance. Audra, you support this? Uh, I don't know. What? Well, she, well, she said her facts, so there's no disagreement. I think we already um, established that she wants to go to Russia instead. So, okay, support. How can I not? Needs to go up the ladder, and you're the first step. So the ball's in your court. I really don't mean to keep making these puns. <laughs> what do we say about the video? Okay, I think we're gonna stay silent here. The video looked like self-defense to me. A crazed fan gets into an argument with her on an elevator. She feared for her life, she fought back. It wasn't a crazed fan. Everyone knows she slept with that girl. And whose business is that? Not ours. So unless that waitress comes forward and Audra here has done a good job of making sure that doesn't happen. By the way, Audra, I really wish you told me about that. That's what I'm here for. Then this is simply self-defense. No need to punish that, I don't think. So Audra wants to join the team again? Be honest? She doesn't have to answer them. I want to destroy them. I want to destroy Indianapolis. I want to go out there tonight and make the city watch as I destroy their team. And I want to do it again on Tuesday and then take them back to my town and destroy them one last time on my court. And here my fans explode when I do it. And I want to take that championship trophy and kiss it on the live television. And I want that goddamn bartender and whoever leaked that elevator shit to watch me kiss that trophy. While their precious team scurries back to the locker room, I want them to watch me kiss that trophy. I want them to realize that they can't lay a goddamn finger on me. This is really, really, really intense. <laughs> this entire fucking time to burn with rage of my victory. Wow. Okay, everyone's staring. So that's our offer. <laughs> that's a good offer. Either you take her or is she... That batch Holy shit. Uh, thank you again for the shout out. Unfortunately, I'm fading here, so I'll be watching for your next video. Okay, thank you. Thank you for being here. Have a good night. Yeah, apparently this is based on an actual play. Um, By the same name. It's called Watch Me Jump. You know what? I was expecting a wholesome game about inspir inspirational players. I did not expect this crap. <laughs> I'm not like I'm not criticizing the quality of the game. The game quality is really good. Like they're really driving it home here. Like the little subtle design decisions they made, it just it works really well for what this topic is. Like, holy shit, though, I didn't expect this kind of topic. <sighs> holy. Okay. We're what, 12 hours from game one? 11 and a half by my watch. So you better start making some calls.
end of quarter so that was just the first out of four okay um there's f there's three more of these and like this last hour that i played there this is a flashback again um wow the assistant coach got her into drinking okay Like, not got her into drinking, but, like, is encouraging her at this point. Um, being funny gets you commercials. Well, that's what I got in... That's why I got into sports, to fulfill my ultimate dream of becoming an actor. Does Sophie know you're taking me out for a drink? We don't need anyone's permission. We're grown adults. We can make these choices for ourselves. But, yeah, she said I could. So, what is this? Are you, like, um... What are you doing? I'd like to offer a proposal. Um, what? Okay, you're a nice guy, but that's not what I'm... Just let me... I got us some whiskey. Let's toast. To what I'm sure will be a successful first season. Sounds good. Oh, this is not whiskey. Yeah, I realize that now. Gosano isn't bourbon? No, it's tequila. Sana literally means warm in Spanish. I thought it was weird that the bartender asked if I wanted salt. Anyway, I want this to be your last drink of the season. The choice is yours, but you're going to be very important to Sophie and to the Lynx, and frankly to the league as a whole. Everyone can see that. We need you. But more importantly, we need to need you thinking straight. So here's my proposal. Stay sober just for the season. If you need a drink, give me a call. We'll talk it out. Okay, so he was offering to be um, a safe call person, basically. Like, to um, help her stay sober. And after you finish playoffs, we'll toast again to a successful year. What do you say? Yes? I know it can be... I be a problem it's only a problem if you don't control it and you can't control it alone trust me i've been there really really and that's what i'm here to do you make it through the season we'll share a bottle to celebrate how's that sound so my last drink was a tequila i didn't know i'm a gin guy gin what is wrong with you <laughs> Audra? we have a deal Sure. What the hell? Cheers. Okay, why is there no break? Like an exploration break? We're in third quarter already? I thought we were in the second quarter. No, I guess not. <coughs> He's like... Sitting there waiting in her room now? Jesus. Hi. The fuck are you doing here? Making sure you're sleeping. Get the fuck out of my room. Nope. What? I can't. Yeah, you can. Door's over there. Sophie's orders. She's making me keep an eye on you. Fuck, dude. Do you have to watch me sleep? I wasn't watching you sleep. I was playing solitaire. I'm trying to beat your score. I regret giving you my passcode. Ignore him. I can't go back to sleep. You were doing just fine earlier. Did you know that you snore? What time is it anyway? Almost noon. I'm supposed to get you up in three hours. Go back to sleep. If I don't, you're gonna rat on me? Yes, I would don't need to watch over me, okay? What do you think I'm gonna do? Go out and start punching people? At this point, I have no idea what you're going to do. What's that mean? I've seen you, Audra, get a couple of drinks in you and you push people away. And I don't mean like you stop talking to them. You literally push them away. <clears throat> so yeah, I could see a future where someone gets you alone and, you, and gets you drunk at just the right time. Like after losing a game. And you snap. 
of course they started it of course they pushed you first but here's the thing audra you're always getting pushed on the court in life wherever you're always just getting pushed Okay, maybe I started a couple of times, but not this time. Definitely not this time. And I'd hope that you of all people would have been able to tell the difference. Right now, the difference doesn't make any difference. This is who you are, Audra, and now everyone knows it. It's a bigger problem than any of us now. Which is why you can't make this deal. What? Sophie's going to kill me. I'm not supposed to tell you that I know about the deal. You can't take it. Hear him out. Why not? Because this is destroying my faith. There's not one part of this that has anything to do with basketball. This thing I love more than anything, more than myself. This thing I wanted so hard to be good at, even though I was too slow and too short. I joined the WNBA because there weren't dollar signs floating around everywhere. Everything. It was about the game. It was about the passion. But now, we only talk about money. You want to be a role model? Then don't take the easy way out of this. Accept responsibility, take the punishment. And lose the playoffs? If that's what it means, then yeah. So you want to lose? Of course not. Believe me, I have a whole plan. We win this championship, maybe win a few more. My resume starts looking real good. And in 10 years, I'm coaching a team myself. I take this deal, none of that changes. Yeah, it does, because then I'm involved in it. I'm signing non-disclosure agreements and trying to keep quiet about it. And that's not why I'm here. Sometimes it gets stuck. I don't know why. I want to win, but I don't want to win like this. So you take this deal? Then what? I take this deal, then what? Then you've broken something that isn't getting fixed. You take this deal, I'm out. Out? Yeah, out. Leaving the team, leaving the links. You're serious? I have an offer. Assistant coach for the Atlanta Dream. And Patrick's a dinosaur, so maybe five years until he retires. Which means there's a good chance I'd become head coach. I want to stay here. I want to make history with you and Sophie. But if you do this, you can't put this on me. Well, that's what I'm doing. No, you can't do that. You can't put your career decisions in my hands. And all uh, they always were, Audra. If you're going to leave, then leave. But don't pin this on me. No, I need you to hear this. I need to make sure you understand exactly what's happening here. If I leave, if I take this offer, it is absolutely 100% because of you. When Sophie asks why I'm leaving, I will say it was Audra. If Patrick asks why I took the offer, I will say it was Audra. If anyone asks, I will just point at you. You need to realize what, that what you do, anything you do, has a chain reaction. That's why everyone pushes you. You decide salaries, you decide jobs. You have a lot more power than you realize. And if this deal is what you've become, if this is what the Lynx has become, then when you're playing next season, the only time you'll see me is when you're playing Atlanta and I'm on the other side of the court because that's what you've done to me. Don't do this, Zach. It's done. It's not. It's up to you now. Be honest. But what if I don't know what the right thing is? Well, I'd say your instinct's been pretty good so far, but we both know that's not true. So, I don't know. Maybe listen to what your gut tells you and then do the opposite. It's a weird way that kind of makes sense. <laughs> In a weird way, that kind of makes sense. Oh my god, this game. <laughs> Should really get some sleep if i were a betting man i'd put money on you playing tonight you need sleep fine okay i think that's enough for now <laughs> Wow, okay, so that was, um, 
That was intense. I didn't finish it yet. I think I'm about 50% done. And it's uh, this game is 2.99 US at the moment. And it's called Watch Me Jump by um, Jeremy Gable. And yeah, so that's the link to the page. I'm actually curious if this is actually a play that written by Jeremy Gable. I, I want to check this out. Watch me jump. Play. Yeah, okay. So it is... um. Jeremy, uh, Jeremy Joseph Gable is a British-born American playwright and game designer. So he did write this play, and then he turned it into a game. Interesting. I must say the writing is really good. It's really intense. Oh my god. Yeah, it is really intense. I didn't expect this level of intensity, but that was something. Uh, we should like. I'm I'm curious about how it ends and if it has multiple endings. But no, oh God. <laughs> All right. So I think that was. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a five minute break, and uh, we're gonna come back with our second game. And our second game is called, it's much more low-key, I think. It's uh, some sort of puzzle game, I think, like a Scrabble-like puzzle game called Side Words. Um, okay, so I'll be back in about five minutes.
Hello, I'm back. We are doing our second game now. Game number 362. Sidewords by Milkbag Games. You can get it at milkbaggames.h.io. I have played one other game by them before, but I can't remember exactly which one. Uh, but their name is definitely familiar. Maybe we can find out later. Let's see. So side words is seems like a relaxing puzzle game. Should be a nice change compared to the last intense one. Uh, grab a cup of coffee and relax with side words. Uh, side words is p uh, part logic puzzle, part word game, all original. No timers, no penalties, no pressure, just you and a good puzzle. Well, that sounds relaxing. Uh, sharpen your mind with hundreds of puzzles from small and quick to large and captivating. Plus three new puzzles to do every day. There's even a bonus game included. Choose a color scheme that fits your mood and environment. Get your morning started with bright colors or unwind at the end of the day with the dark theme. So sit back, relax, and enjoy a good puzzle. You deserve your sideboard's time. Okay, it's $4.99 US at the moment. Let's check it out. That sounds nice, right? It's very quiet too. In fact, I don't hear a single sound. So sound is on. There's no music, I guess. Um, theme light, theme dark, theme neon, theme koi. I mean, theme neon fits better with my setup, but... Okay, let's start with the light. Just, just, let's just do this once. Puzzles, bonus, blah, puzzles. Uh, appetizers. I'm guessing that's the... Oh, my God. Okay. Start with a small... Okay, so what do we do? Click letters to spell words. Spell now. Okay. Ah. Spell one to complete the puzzle. Oh, okay. It fills up the grid as well. Interesting. All right. The names of the levels are are uh, basically the words on the side and the top. Interesting. Okay, so we could do send with this. And done with this one. Okay. So S-E-N-D. Okay, send is one. And D O N E. Nice. Oh, fire don't talk. The first game. Ah. <laughs> it was freaking intense. Uh, it was unexpectedly intense. It was, uh, it, it was, uh, it was something. It was, okay, so. Uh, <laughs> That that game is basically it is actually a play by the same person, uh, Jeremy Gable. He wrote a play and then he turned it into a game. It was way more intense than I was expecting, and <laughs> yeah, it, it was it was something. It was uh, it was a bit shocking, um, and um, yeah, unexpectedly uh, stressful, I guess. I don't know if stress is the right word. Uh, it was a shock to my psychological system. <laughs> um, you should check it out. Um, you should like check out the video later maybe and um, 
the, it'll, it'll explain what I'm trying to say here. Okay. So, met. Many but on top right to access more options. What options? Oh. I think we got the hang of it. Huh. Ah. Huh. Okay. Okay, so we could do met and mine. And then M I N E. There we go. This four can do gone, and these four can do tons. This can do nog. I don't know if nog counts, but those the remaining can actually do stone. Hmm. Maybe we should go with that. Okay. S T O N E. Nice. This is cool. This is like Scrabble and crossword mixed with something else. It's an interesting puzzle. Um, a huge change compared to the first game. Um, so, uh, okay. Air. We can do S-T-A-I-R, but that crosses this. Um. Mm. We could do arise and then do is rate a word R A I T. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. R A I T is that a is that a word? Huh. Okay. Lablet. <laughs> uh okay, the first one is tell. Um Okay. Satire. Ah. Huh. Satire could have worked. Yeah, good good thinking. Satire could have worked. I wonder if you can if there's a multiple ways of solving the puzzles. Uh, yeah, Jasmine, it's like you're trying to make words using the two sides of the 
of this table. And it fills up the spot in the middle. I don't think you can like do halfway. Uh, like I cannot do just like part of the row or... I'm not sure. I haven't tried. Oh, I could do one word that fills the whole thing. Ballet. You know, maybe l let's try it. Let's try the other one. Satire. Uh, Shelly suggested that. Uh, you can give suggestions. Yeah, I think I think I'm okay with receiving suggestion for this one. Sat tire. And remove a word from the board by clicking on. Okay. Wow. Yeah, you can solve it in multiple ways. Ah, oh, I wonder if there's like what other solutions we can come up with. Um. Uh, in. Mm. Yeah, it is awesome, right? Um, couldn't think of anything here. Oh, oh, I have an idea. There. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh... Yeah, it could have worked. You know, it is a word. I mean, it is kind of a word, right? But yeah, nodes is what ended up doing. <laughs> um, what could this be? I see item. Um... My time. There's time. Good time. Um. <laughs> I don't know. Nose just seems like a funny word. It's you know. I wonder. Okay, let's let's go back and see if we can do that. Uh, it's this one, right? Uh, yeah, that works. Still don't get this one. Mighten, is that a word? T. Tin. Tim E la 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 Tim Ah okay I can't do this one. What about this? Uh Nog Stone <laughs> It it's awesome that it worked. Uh on Stung? Stonge? Is that a thing? 
Toner. We have tongs. Tongs are I don't know if stonge is a word. Isn't minute a word? Minute could minute is not a word? I feel like I've heard that somewhere. Is time in a word? Okay, okay, let's try it. Time men? Nope. Doesn't let me. Uh, minute? No, doesn't let me. NG. That's not a word. Okay. Stong is a word? Really? Stong is a word? Huh. Okay. I know. Tong. Song. We have song. Song get. <laughs> no. Um, S T Tone Ah, uh, no. on um nice what about nope i thought it was something like gnostic or something but e doesn't work Yeah, it is really quiet. Okay, hold on. I'm going to just play Pretzel Rock. There we go. Yeah, this one is not working. messing with words. I don't know what to do with the full word for that. We did this one already. That was awesome. We did this one. We didn't do this one. What about this one? I don't think there is one. Uh, now and one. There's a name, oh when, but that won't work. It's a, it's a name. Um, no, no name. One? No. The 
that's not it. Stay gone? Stay gone, is that a word? Okay, let's see. Uh, S T G O N? No. Hmm, no, that didn't work. Uh, music is tad loud. Okay, hold on. Yeah, it needs to be a little low key for the music for <laughs> to work with this game. No, I don't see any more. Okay, let's um, let's move to the next set. Uh, <clears throat> so small puzzles done. Three by three puzzles. What does that mean? Okay, so three letter words on each set. Okay. Set. Um, Tess. Um, okay, past. Uh, Paste. Paste. Yeah. Okay. Got it. <laughs> oh, it's not relaxing. I can't hear the music. I'm just, I have it muted. <laughs> do you want me to change the music? I can do that. Oh yeah, both of you suggested the same thing. Awesome. Okay, tell me how this music is. Uh, spa set, ear drip. Uh, rapid? Uh, rapid, uh, okay, uh, that's good. No, no. Is there a parade? No. Diaper, there's two options. Okay, paired works. Uh, I P E R, that works too. Cool. I picked the noun. Uh, net. Uh, okay. Um,. I'm not good with words, so so I I appreciate all the help. All the help. Uh, stay. Stained. 
stained s t a no there's no i oh i learned a new word stained i have no idea what it means but apparently it works <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna look up what that means now. I might as well learn new words while I'm at it. Uh, okay. Stain. Stain means... Stone? Stain means stone, okay. Uh, it's, it just means stone. Okay, I never heard this word before. Oh, it's a Scottish word for stone. Okay, okay. That's all I got out of that. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, Jasmine Teach said the same thing. Yeah. I, I should realize Jasmine knows a lot more words than I do. Oh, Shelly said the same thing. The two of you are just like <laughs> educating me the same thing at the same time somehow. <laughs> okay. Okay, set leg. Um, S T A. I get up to five letters, and then the sixth letter just like confuses me. Where? Uh, Staleg is that a word? No. Glades. Okay, glade. Nope. Dago. Okay. S no. Is tackles. I don't know. Tags. Uh, we have stag at least. Uh, okay. Uh, glades, no, gallist, uh, staggle, with E-L instead of L-E, oh, S-T-A, no, staggle, gallist, uh, G-A-L-E-S-T, no, Something like algae? I don't know. L, um, L. There's not enough A's for algae. Uh, 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 glade, so, do, do, late. We can do late. Lates. Late. No. Least we can do least. Can we do gleast? <laughs> is that a word? No. <laughs> Gleats is that a word? L e a a t. No. Uh. <laughs> Guestal. I that maybe guess 
No. The guest? No. Like, uh... No. <laughs> We're like trying everything here. <laughs> can make eagle no no can make eaglist uh steagle we did that already did we do legost legsta Like sat, sa, sa, stigio, no, sa, gay. Wow, we're like so desperate right now. <laughs> like, husband. Yeah, this is hard. <laughs> we can do leg, leg gust, but not leg gasp. <laughs> uh, estagle, stagle, esta, get all, okay. Get so no get less This is reminding me of the let go of my Legolas joke. <laughs> there was this comic that <laughs> it just escalates with the Legolas puns. Maybe they don't all have solutions for every letter. Uh, it's possible. Aglets. Ag... Let's... Aglets works? What is aglets? I need to know now. <laughs> okay, aglets. What is aglets? Let's, let's look this up. Aglets. Aglets is a... An aglet or ag... Eyeglet is a small sheath often made of plastic or metal used on each end of a shoelace. That thing has a name? Oh my god. I, I know what it's talking about. I just never knew what it's called. Okay, so it's used on the end of a shoelace, a cord, or a drawstring. An aglet keeps the fibers of the lace or cord from unraveling. Its firmness and narrow profile makes it easier to hold and easier to feed through eyelets, lugs, or other lacing guides. So people who do sewing and crafting, they should know about this one. Wow. Okay, I'm learning so much from this game. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, all of you know what, what we're talking about here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's like, yeah. Awesome. Okay, let's look at the next one. Her oat. Uh, throat? Throat? Uh, I don't know. O-A. No. No, there's only one T, so that's not gonna work. Rotate. Uh, 
the last one had too few vowels this one has too much vowels there's like three vowels here <laughs> No idea, I'm just trying random things right now. <laughs> There's an O, so Earth is not enough. But Earth is, yeah, it's like five, five letters. And... So it could have Hero Earth. Like if we do this, then we can do Hero. Just try it. No, that's not a thing. <laughs> I wonder if it's a word that's like one, one consonant and one vowel. Um. It's Earth's evil twin, Eorth. <laughs> it could be a depressed Earth, this Eorth. Like, <clears throat> because Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh is depressed. So, Eeyore's Earth is Eorth. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just... <laughs> I, think I've, I, I think the last game just exhausted me so i'm just in like this weird zone right now <laughs> hero no No. 
no idea. Can we get a hint? Every puzzle can be solved many ways. This only has... This is only one solution. Okay. Other... Hmm. But other only takes... There must be more hints. No, they only give you one. Hmm. I can't think of anything. Anyone in chat have any ideas? Because I only have these two. Hero Earth. Not log. Not log. Um... It has only O as... Hmm. Glutton? No. Long go? Tongue low? What is that to go? think of anything here but we have long and we have see hints for this.
Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's make it more complicated. Let's do the four and four. Real dent. Okay. Our dent. Our dent. That's a good one. And I never did something like that before. Uh, N E E D. Um, yeah, I don't think I can. It's not enough. Log on for the first one. Okay, let's see. Log on. Yeah, log on works. But then this one is. Oh, oh. Glot is. No. Gold. Gold. No. Yeah, log on was a word. Hmm. I make log on then I'm stuck here <clears throat> which is why we didn't do it because if I do a tool it takes these squares so I can't do log on at that point each combination of letters cannot be reused Lead trend. Um, a real tip. No. Talented. Then no, there's only one T. Could be ralented. nothing ladenter ladender len lanter lantern lanter that's not a word lantern um Antlered, is that a word? And Antlered. Yeah, I got it. 
That's awesome. I didn't know that was a word, but it worked. Yeah, you got it too, Shelly. Fear test. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Something that grew antlers is antlered. Something that has been assigned an antler, perhaps. Can you assign antlers? Uh, teaser? Fest. Is it festered? Festy? No. Fest. Titter? No. Uh, Steadfast? No, there's no D. Tesseract, no. Tesseract. I can make Tesseract, but that doesn't mean anything. Can't make fastest. And make fast tier. S T. Tier fast. Here, fest. Um, but that's not a word. Rate fest. Um, this must have taken a lot of effort. It's such an interesting system. I wonder how much effort went into designing these so that every one of them could be um, at least most of them could have like a full one word that covers everything uh, S T R A F E Strayfest oh that didn't work. Strafe works, but... Tear fest should be a real word. Yeah, I know. I, I felt that. I feel it. Uh, T-E-A-R-F-E-S-T. It should be a real word, but apparently it's not. 
What about fear test? Is that a word? No. Test fear? Seer fest? No. S T E E R. No idea. Uh, yeah, but that's not a no. There's also this. What about rest? Rest feet. No. Um. There's two E's and one A. There's just so many combinations, I can't think of anything. You can make fair. You can make fair. anything um, fair T E S T doesn't cover everything If I do this, then it only does those. Yeah, that's not enough. We need to find bigger words. There was a U I could do feature. We could do fester. We do fester, then we have. Um, It's not gonna work. Could do tester, right? Tester covers way more than fester does. So 
and then tar and then this will need something Okay, have a good um have a good rest of your day for I don't talk. I'll catch you later. Oh before you go, uh did we give you a shout out? I think we did already. Okay. Okay. can't make anything here Wow, this is complicated Our rest art. Okay. If we do rest, how do... Oh, wait. Ooh, interesting. Like, if you do art... Oh my god, look at the rest. Hmm. How does all those four work? R, art, and rest? I can do art here. How does rest work? It's T. There we go. Then R E. E. No, we did that already. We did that already. Huh? I'm just seeing how they made it work fast. F A. ST. Oh my god, this is complicated. Wow, that was uh No, all of these are really difficult. I've never seen puzzles this like this before. And that's just like the appetizers. That's not even the like the big puzzles. Like the spicy puzzles, like like these grandiose puzzles here. Look at that. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Okay, this is uh this is pretty hardcore. Okay, so that was sidewards. And then you get like bonus game here. I don't know what this is about, but it's something to check out later. So that was sidewards and uh it's by um Milkbag Games, so go check them out. It's only $4.99 um i pasted the link in the chat let's look at the other games they have so oh future grind was another game that they made and that's the i remember that game that was fun that was not uh, puzzle it was it was platformer but that was fun too 
Yeah, so Milk Bag Games has side words for $4.99 US at the moment. If you want to check it out, go to mil milkbaggames.h.io. Okay, so I'm going to take another. F oh, thank you for the hydrate. I'll take another break and I'll be back with the last game. Our last game is called. Oh, wow. The last game is a heavy one. It's called The Whisper in Darkness by Nat Quayle Nelson. I'll be back with that in a short while.
Hello, I am back with our last game. Our last game is game number 363, The Whisperer in Darkness by Nat Quail Nelson. Uh, if you want to check it out, you can get it at nqn.h.io. Here is the link in the chat. And we have... We have it going for... Uh, 2 dollars US at the moment. So the Whisper in Darkness. Rumors resurface, legends are resurrected. The Whisper in Darkness is a visual novel based on the cosmic horror story by H.P. Lovecraft. Play as Alex N. Wilmart, skeptic and professor at uh, Miskatonic University. As you unravel the hideous secrets centered at a secluded farm in the hills of Vermont, coming over ever closer to mortal peril. Eight chapters of authentic Lovecraftian horror. Experience a linear story through painted illustrations, ASCII art, atmospheric sound effects, an unsettling musical score, and frantic email correspondence with a conspiracy theorist who might be a little too close to the truth. No guns, no fighting, just you alone to discover what lies hidden in the world you thought you knew. Once you find the truth, you, can you ever go back? Uh, note, The Whisper in Darkness is a short focused experience which takes under an hour or for a full playthrough. The story has no branching choices and only one ending. Cool. Interesting. Let's check it out. Wow, what is that? Select a chapter. We have only chapter one. How to play. Headphones highly recommended. To continue the story, press any key or left click. To pause at any time, press escape or right click. Simple enough. Chapter one. The Journal of Alex N. Wilmart. Miss As um, Ackley, to begin with, I must apologize most profoundly for my failure in the end. Though there remains nothing in my power that could help you, I still write to console you of your loss and to caution you after the last wishes of your father. You may choose not to believe my story, although comprehensive re record of my correspondence with Henry Ackley is preserved in the storage drive I sent you along with my first rushed letter. The police found no more evidence to corroborate my final report than the bullet holes in the Ackley farmhouse. Nothing remained to suggest that anyone had ever been there other than the missing Ackley himself. You might think it was simply a nightmare that led me to flee the farmhouse that night, recklessly driving a stolen Ford through the wild hills of Vermont. I can only testify as to the vividness of the things I saw and heard, and re relate in utmost detail the things that occurred in the farmhouse. Credulous of my tale or not, I must beg you to abandon any foolish notion of returning to those godforsaken hills. I write to you here on paper because I have no faith in the safe transmission of any sensitive digital communication. Although I am in part to blame for your father's dreadful fate, I ask also that you do not attempt further contact with me. I aim now to quit my entanglement in all this and to live the remaining of my life in the fragile peace of hiding. The matter came to my attention several weeks ago because of the recent flash floods in Vermont. Uh, flash floods. An eccentric poor woman uh, camping in Townsend State Forest reported strange bodies washed up one morning on the shore of the West River above Newfane. Among other rumors, this testimony sparked a surge of theories. Myths and legends began to resurface from decades past. Some of the more seemingly well-researched claims actually found print, sparkling popular discussion and debate. Uh, the Rutland Herald. Elsa Devonport, bizarre tales of elder race may carry some truth. 
Vermont folklore for centuries has hinted at the existence of a hidden race of monstrous beings somewhere among its most remote hills. Talk of the most uh, talk of these creatures has since resurfaced after evidence of their presence was reported by Vermont locals venturing deeper than usual in the mountains. They claimed to have seen prints in the mud, each report describing the very same claw-like outline belonging to no, no known animal inhabitants of Vermont wilderness. Uh, curiously arranged stone circles where the grass was worn away as if the site of some druidic ritual. Cave mouths closed by boulders in seemingly deliberate fashion, even large dim figures talking, taking flight under moonless skies. These claims might easily be dismissed as lunatic fantasy, were the stray accounts not to fall in such perfect agreement with one another. With these reports coinciding with claims of alien bodies found on riverbeds, it can hardly be denied that something strange is at work on the hills of Vermont. Most surprising about these stories is their apparent connection with largely forgotten mythology. Both point to creatures taking the shape of a huge crab with too many legs and great bat-like wings. Could these reports be describing the old ones of le legend? As an academic and folklorist, I was already well aware of the legends, and my opinions on the subject became increasingly sought after by my students. From my students, I devised that Davenport's connection between recent events and largely forgotten mythology was entirely fraudulent, though more recent folk tales of the New Hampshire overflowed with reference to the Mego, or winged ones, said to come from the sky, they had mines in certain earthly hills, where they gathered large, uh, a kind of stone unique to earth, and flew back to their own stars. They were mostly content to leave humans alone. Sometimes people disappeared among their hills. Their hills in the deep woods of the highest peak and the dark valleys where stream trickled down from unknown sources. Their hills where animals once dwelled and now silent, where all intelligent life had either fled or vanished. Their hills where in the dead of night sometimes strange buzzing voices could be heard in their conversation, seemingly irritated human speech. None of it was to be believed, of course. Chapter 2 Eventually, I decided to take my expertise and rational skepticism to the papers to see if I could quell the nonsense once and for all. I wish I never had. Alex Wilmart facts against the Mego legend. Lately, particular public attention has been given to the tales of strange events surrounding the hills of Vermont. As an assistant professor of the renowned Mistatonic University and a scholar of folklore, I intend to inform you of the purely irrational origin of these stories and to dispel fully the irrational fear of these hills. The common name now applied to the aliens supposedly lurking in the Vermont is the Old Ones claimed. Uh, claimed sightings of such otherworldly beings are not in fact a recent phenomenon to this region. Early Puritans feared beasts of devil they glimpsed through thick woods at night. We now know this fear as a more fun mere function of societal ostracism whereby orthodox leaders eliminated dissent from their more subversive opponents, calling certain people devil worshippers and expelling them from their own communities. Yet more troublingly, strange writings of elaborate hoax from as late as the 1930s paint similar invading creatures as heralding the end of human civilization, a hate-fueled metaphor for natives' fear of growing immigrant populations. These weird tales mistakenly believed by a startling number of impressionable readers embraced a subtle undercurrent of racial supremacy which perseveres to this day. Comparison between the old myths and the recent tales reveals undeniably close similarities between the two. The only rational conclusion is that the recent hysteria is a mere outgrowth of historically entrenched oppression and racism to which there is not a single, there's not a grain of truth. You know, he wrote all this, but he never offered any proof. It's, I mean, just patterns, just correlation to past, but never any actual proof. 
that in this case, what they're observing is incorrect. Eckley's first message came in an email one morning. Oh, okay. We actually move around. Hold down directional keys to explore. Wow. That's a slow movement. I pause to peruse my modest literary correction collection before conducting my daily activities. Recollecting the grotesque horror of my favorite works, I chuckle to myself. The newly risen, the newly risen legends could have fit nicely among them. I have no mouth and I must scream. Hey, that's a game. I know this game. It's a point and click game from a long time ago. It's uh, basically doing some sort of... Saga of the Swamp Thing, book 3. That might be in 1, 2. Isaac Asimov, not final. <laughs> A tale of ancient gods, long unnoticed among oblivious human fools. From around here, by Tim Pratt. Cool. I am very tired today. And this game is, <laughs> the movement is super slow. Email from hawkley.zmail.com Professor Wilmart, I have read your summaries of Vermont folklore in The Reformer and was impressed by the depth of your research. As a student of anthropology and folklore similar to yourself, it is easy to see why you chose to dismiss those supernatural tales. Many a scientist would connect them with silly legends and think no more of it, as I myself was originally, originally inclined to. Unfortunately, for reasons I will explain, I'm afraid your opponents, ignorant as they are, may be closer to the truth. I may, I have lived my entire life in the midst of the dreaded hills and forests. Following the latest reports, I explored deeper into the uninhabited hills and valleys, expecting to conform, confirm their falsehood. I've come to regret my curiosity, for I now have certain unsettling evidence to the opposite effect. Indeed, as a man of science, I must now acknowledge that something strange is happening here. I do not intend in writing to you to spark any argument. My real wish is that you will hush the matter to the best of your ability. Nothing good may come of further drawing the public's attention to this place. Please share this message with, the, with no one. If you wish to see the evidence I have collected, I will send it to you as soon as I can. I've taken several photographs of things I discovered in the woods. Yours, Henry Ackley. My reply was short, no more than a paragraph. I requested that he send me this evidence from a kind of humorous curiosity. I will certainly be interested in seeing your photographs. Rest assured, I do not intend to further involve myself in any, in any public debate over the matter. At least he listened, right? He sent the photos to the, the next day. On one night, while I was wandering in the woods, I heard the sound of distant ritual chanting. I followed the noise close enough to realize it would be foolish to come any closer to it. I set out the next morning to return to that spot where I found this stone circle. I don't know what to make of it. This is the one of the prints that you can make out around the circle in the other photo. You might suspect this mark to be a fake created by some jokester to stoke my growing unease. But remember that from many years I've lived here, my intuition for these traces left by the natural wildlife is quite refined. I am confident this print is neither artificial nor belonging to any native animal. At the same spot, I found this strange black stone. I've been working to decipher the hieroglyphic, hieroglyphic, uh, hieroglyphics for almost a week. Despite my anthropological background, I cannot identify their language as any human tongue. The last photo was of Ackley himself standing in front of one of the farmhouse. After viewing the pictures one by one alongside Ackley's measured contemplations, I couldn't help but begin to entertain the notion that something truly unusual was taking place near the Ackley farmhouse, though nothing so supernatural as this seemed to imply. Still, I never wrote to the papers again. Slowly, the debate died off. Chapter 3 
Something is in the way Ackley, something in the way Ackley present his discoveries and theories thereof prompted me to continue our discussion despite my initial doubts. Despite my measured trust for him, I contacted his old professors to verify that he was indeed the mature scholar he claimed, thus dispelling my suspicion of his messages as part of an elaborate farce. In the end, uh, this and the clear rationality which characterized his early correspondence prevented me from discounting his experiences. In addition to the black stone, Ackley had one more tangible piece of evidence. He actually managed to record a minute or two of what he had described as ritual chanting, which he heard one night in the woods. He sent me the audio file at my eager persuasion. You may have heard it yourself if you've yet delved into the cursed hard drive containing every communication which ever passed between us. Upon first listening, my heart was struck cold, and I began to truly believe the wider claims Ackley put forth. His careful distance from the speakers was evident in the way their voices carried through the trees, no louder than whispers. Still, I will never forget the few words I could hear above all the rest. It's the Lord of the Woods, even too. From the wells of night to the gulfs of space, and from gulfs of space to the wells of night, ever the praises of great Cthulhu. And it has come to pass that the Lord of the Woods, being seven and nine, down the onyx steps. Tributes to him in the gulf as a as a thought, he of whom thou hast taught us marvels. On the wings of the night, out beyond space, out beyond. Go out among humans and find the ways thereof that he in the gulf may know. Await uh, near La Hotep, he the great messenger. Down from the world of seven sons to mock. And he shall put on the semblance of them, the making flesh and the robe that hides. The masking flesh and the robe that hides. Next was the matter of the black stone. Eckley claimed to have found it in the woods on Round Hill, its unknown hieroglyphics, hieroglyphics nearly worn away, perhaps from centuries of age or even millennia. He soon began to display a certain paranoia over the stone's discovery. Once he took it home, he claimed that everything changed, that he might be killed or taken should they decide his curiosity had overreached. Yeah, it would have been nice to have some voice acting in this one. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I hear what you're saying. After puzzling over the stone symbols for weeks, Ackley believed he was on the cusp of unraveling its secrets. We agreed that if he could send it to me safely, I might be able to find the last crucial piece needed to translate the glyphs. I managed to convince him to tr uh, drive to town... Townsend and shipped the stone from there. Its estimated date of arrival came and went, and to my dismay, I received no delivery. Distraught, Ackley concluded the stone must have been intercepted. Now they must be watching him more closely than ever, he realized. I assured, reassured him that it must simply have been an accident and promptly conducted my own investigation into the status of the delivery. Hmm. He's sending an email to the post office. <laughs> Package does not exist. Results were unhelpful. Despite my half-hearted encouragements, Ackley soon abandoned hope that the stone would ever be recovered. I'm not typing, it's all automatic, Shelley.
It's a very linear visual novel. Chapter 4 At this point, Ackley's emails begin to arrive with greater frequency and describing still more startling events at the farmhouse. This unknown things, the unknown things have begun to close in on me with a frightening now degree of determination. I suspect they mean to kill me because of our correspondence and because I've learned too much. I never should have sent you that recording or the black stone. They may now be watching you as well. Be vigilant. I have long known they kept human allies, allies to help to act as agents and spies. You yourself heard the human voices in my recording that night now i believe i have identified one of their human agents walter brown a, sh a surly farmer who lives alone on a rundown hillside a uh, place near the deep woods i have heard his voice in terrible conversations in the woods i've also seen claw prints near his house i never encouraged uh, encountered a hint of their presence on nights when the moon is full and bright for these creatures shun the light the nocturnal barking of my dogs has grown hideous on moonless nights yesterday on my way to the village by car i was stopped by a tree trunk laid in my path at a deep patch of the woods luckily i had two of my great dogs with me whose savage barkings warned me of the things which must have been lurking near I never leave the home without my dogs now. Who knows what would have happened if I had been alone. The next email came in the evening and I judged it was written in a hurry. Frightful happenings last night. Bullets flying outside the farmhouse while my dogs ran frenzied from the barn to find the source of the noise. A few quickly returned to shelter while the rest went chasing after the threat. Holy shoot. Found three of those twelve dogs dead this morning. Myriads of claw prints in the roads, human prints also, probably Walter Brown's, uh, probably Walter Brown's. Wire went dead as I phoned Brat, um, Brattleboro for more dogs. Later went by car, fought four new guard dogs, bought four new guard dogs and several cases of rifle ammo. Hmm. The phone company found the cable cleanly cut at a point where it's crossed the desert hills north of Newfane. Hmm. This is terribly frightening news. Surely you must inform the authorities. Maybe if we can get them to believe your story, they could be of help. I know you warned me to stay away, but maybe I could visit to help you explain your situation to the police. By corroboration might, my corroboration might lend credence to your situation. Okay. I think I'm gonna stop here. Uh, I already played like four chapters, almost four chapters. Yeah, I'm in chapter four. Don't want to give up the whole story. It is a pretty short game, so um, we're gonna stop here. Okay, so that was the Whisper in Darkness. It's a novel by H.P. Lovecraft that's been converted to a game, I think, um, and it's by Nat uh, Quail. Nelson. You can get it at nqn.h.io. There we go. That concludes our last game uh, for this session. Okay, so today we uh, had our 121st session. We looked at game number 361, Watch Me Jump by Jeremy Gable, 362, Side Words by Milk Back Games, and 363, The Whisper in the Darkness by uh, Nat Quail Nelson. I'm going to paste the link to all three in the chat. Um, I'm finishing the stream now because I'm a little tired and I didn't want to finish the whole game. So those are the three links to the, the games. The graphics on this uh, stream are done by Rifna. They have also done my heart emoji and some uh, shell smileys emojis as well. Um, these are the links to their uh, to their profiles. There's their Pinterest, uh, Redbubble, and Twitter. They also do some streams on Tuesdays. So here's a shout out for Rifna. Um, and yeah, so that concludes our fifth uh, 125th session. Uh, sorry, 121st session. Uh, should we do a raid today? Perhaps. Hmm. 
Uh, let's raid Malokat. I haven't raided Malokat in a while, so let's do that. Um, thank you all for joining. That was super fun. Um, the first game was really intense. Um, but yeah, it was, it was still good. It was well designed. Uh, so we're gonna raid... Is that the raid? No, that's host. Um, raid channel. Okay. Malokat. Uh, my next stream is gonna be, I'm not sure exactly when, but maybe sometime this weekend. Uh, more like a casual stream. And my next indie stream is on fr uh, on Monday, the Monday the twenty seventh, uh, and then Friday the first of October is the following one. And on Wednesday the twenty ninth, I will be continuing the fall part two, which is a uh, uh, yeah, which is one of my favorite series. So we're nearing the end. I'm hoping to we can finish the story next time. Maybe. It is still a pretty long way to go, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, so let's get ready to raid Malakat. Okay. Well, have a good night, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, let's see. Okay, that makes sense. I think that's what I'm supposed to do then. That's what I'm supposed to do then. One moment. Okay, so I did that, but now how do I get back? Uh. All right, Mystic, settle down. there now though. I'm so confused. Hmm. Wait. Maybe I'm not supposed to be back here yet. <laughs> 